Hello everyone, this is Ben from iPhone Builder. Today I'm going to show you how to take iPhone Builder data and import it into Clipfolio dashboard. The first thing you're going to want to do is sign up for a Clipfolio account. Once you are signed up for a Clipfolio account, you can go hit My Dashboard and it will take you to your dashboard here that will come with a few examples and a few tabs at the top here. So I've created one tab for this video and uh, I'm going to add a clip to it. So what you're first going to want to do is select add a clip here in the middle of the screen and you will see here these are clips that I previously worked on that you can add right to the screen if you want to um, but we're, for this example we're going to build a new clip on the right side here. So now it is building a new clip and uh, what we want to do is select the style of the clip so what I'm going to do is choose a pie chart and this pie chart I'm going to do is going to be from a new data source. You can use existing data sources that you have used in the past if you like to, but for this example we're going to create a new data source. And what we're going to do next is we're going to select web accessible resource. Um, this, is, this will prompt you to put in a URL and uh, we'll click on this here. And what we're going to do now is we want to copy the URL of the data that we want to take in. So we're going to take in mileage tracker data. So we highlight the mileage tracker in iPhone Builder. Then we press Shift and select the XML button here. And this will show the data feed URL. So we're going to copy this. We're going to go back into Clipfolio and we're going to paste it in. Now what we have to do next is we have to append the username and the password of a user that has view rights to this. So and username equals the username. and password equals the password. Now it has to be in this exact format um, and username and password with the uh, equals and then the password and the username behind it. Um, what we're going to do now is keep this at XML and make the method a git and then we're going to get the resource. So right now it is pulling down the iPhone Builder data and at the bottom here we'll be able to verify the data and see if this is the data that we want and it is so we will select continue and then we can save this data source so this would be mileage tracker and uh, give it whatever sort of description you'd like and uh, we're going to auto refresh it every minute for this example so select save and now it will bring you to the pie chart and uh, we're going to create the pie chart the way we'd like to so what we want to do is we want to group all the names of the users who fill out this record and, uh, and add up all the miles that they uh, traveled totally. So what we're going to do is make sure values is selected and we're going to start a formula. So we select the function button here and uh, we're going to insert the group function, um, group by actually. So we're going to group it by the name field and the total miles traveled field. So we'll select group by, make sure values is selected, and we're going to go down and find the name. So we'll select that and make sure the selection options are select all peer name elements. So we'll set the selection there. And then the measure, which will be the total miles traveled. So we'll select that and make sure the selection options are all peer total miles traveled as well. And we'll set the selection. You will see up here at the top, if we expand this, you can see that the miles for each driver. There must be four drivers and these are the miles that they traveled. Um, what we want to do next is we want to change the label because we don't want 575 showing for the label and for the values. So we go up here to the top left of the clip editor and we select labels and we want to use name as a label so we just simply select name and it will import all the name into the pie chart here. What we're going to do next is save this and then it will prompt us to give a name for the pie chart. So, iPhone Builder Employee Mileage. And we can give it a description if you'd like. And we will finish. And this takes a little bit to save and create the clip. So, we're going to go back into my dashboard. And then we're going to make sure we add this clip in. So, we'll select Add Clip. And we want to select iPhone Builder Employee Mileage from our clip library and it's loading the clip right now and we will see that the clip has been placed in here 
and if we add any more data to these records this will be updated within the minute um, and uh, this is how you integrate with Clipfolio dashboard hope this video helps if you like the video please subscribe to the iPhone Builder YouTube channel and look for more videos coming soon thank you